Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Lenon Goddess. How's everyone tonight? Hope you guys are going to have a safe and happy new year. Bringing in the new year. Okay, stay safe. No drinking, no driving. All right. All right, let's get some general energy. You know, what's coming down to the last minute of 2023 and crossing over into the 2024, baby. Let's get it popping, baby. Ooh, let's put the deck. Three of Swords energy. A lot of people's feelings are going to get hurt because you're going to be in your bag, my collective. Look at that. Queen of Pentacles energy. Now, do remember, gender is fluid. So a lot of people are going to get their feelings hurt. It's like, you're as cold as ice. <laughs> a lot of people are going to get their feelings hurt, my collective. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're going to be celebrating, baby. This new year coming, you're going to be celebrating, and that's what you're doing. However, you're ending the year with a bang, that's how you're bringing in the new year. That's how your next uh, 24, 20, 12 to 24 months is going to be. See that Three of Cups energy all in your bag and celebrating, baby. A lot of people are going to get their feelings hurt 2024, baby. You ain't got time. Nah, because you're going to be in the bag. Yes. Definitely all in your bag. You don't give a fuck. Yep, you're walking away from people and you turned your back on them. They go to Eight of Cups. All right? Yeah, you Eight of Cups a lot of people out here. You ain't got time for the bullshit. You're done. Like I said, these this deck is already shuffled. All right, yeah, baby, you're rejuvenating. You you are feeling re revitalized. Okay, you're feeling revitalized with that sun energy, baby. You're going after your passions this year. You're going after that money. Some of y'all are when it comes to your health. Uh, you, you getting in the gym, you getting fit, you changing, you're breaking the old habits. Maybe if this is your last night of smoking cigarettes, smoking weed, drinking, eating whatever you want for the last 2023, that's it. After that is cold turkey. Going cold turkey, baby. Yeah, you're about to do some healing. Serious healing here. And a lot of y'all going to be up on your spiritual game with this high priestess energy. Definitely practicing more. Some of y'all going to be coming into um, your, um, your practitioner ways. All right, a lot of y'all going to be learning a lot of new things, studying, going for higher learning, higher education. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, baby, you're going to be in the bag, okay? Definitely in the bag, but also coming into your, your spiritual gift this year, this 2024 coming, all right? Yes, yes, things are going to be moving rapid for you, my collective. Some of y'all do plan on traveling and seeing different parts of the world that you've never been to before with the world card here, all right? Yeah, things are going to be moving rapidly when I see this Eight of Wands world card for you. You're going to be going to new places that you ain't never been before. So a lot of y'all are traveling, uh, planning trips to places, like very um, spiritual places. Some of y'all could be trying to go like to... Um, the one, you know, like spiritual countries, countries that have like the temples and going to Egypt and certain places in the world that where we don't have any war right now. Okay. Yes. Definitely in your tip top manifestation mode, my collective there go with the ace of wands. You are seeking opportunities. You are not waiting for these opportunities to come to you. You are going towards them. Yes, you are going towards them. Yes, okay? And with the Seven of Swords energy, you ain't got time for nobody and they sneaky shit. You ain't got no time for nobody with the betrayal. Everybody that hurt you, did you wrong 2023 or the last five years, okay? Leading up to 2023, you're done. No more. You're not carrying the emotional baggages anymore. Uh-uh. Nope, it's like time to heal. There you go with the nine of wands. Time to heal. You're letting go of anything or anyone that is still coming in with this bullshit. But like I said, a lot of people are going to be hurt. You're going to be hurting feelings out here this year, 2024 coming because like I said, you ain't got time for the nonsense. You're good. You're like, what's good? I ain't got time for all that. Stay over there with all that sneaky shit, with all the lying, all the deception, the betrayal. Done. You turned your back on it. You end in the year with a bang, baby. All right? You starting out this new year with your new opportunities. You're going to find inspiration wherever you can find that inspiration. You're going to be enlightening the world. Some of y'all are starting a platform. When I see the world, world card, remind, reminds me of the internet, World Wide Web. You're going to be on here to, uh, on social media starting a platform here. Some of y'all are going to be tapping into your divination when I see this high priestess energy. Some of y'all are going to be starting your tarot card, tarot card channel, um, tarot reading channels. You're going to be starting um, your um, yoga channels. Um, some of y'all are going to be on like a platform, like a podcast, talking about spirituality. You know, some of y'all are going to be comparing uh, religion versus spirituality. So there's going to be a lot of um, 
there's going to be a lot, and that's going to bring in the bag, though, with the Queen of Pentacles energy. This is you definitely aligning yourself with your purpose, all right? Yo, you're feeling, I'm telling you, this new year is when it, it's all about the bag. It's all about me, myself, and I, and the Most High God, first and foremost, yep? World card, baby. Some of y'all, like I said, planning on traveling, going places you ain't never been before. That's what you plan on doing. Some of y'all are going to be studying abroad, okay, as well. Some of y'all going to plan on studying abroad, my collective. Yes. All right. Yeah, a lot of people going to regret that they did you wrong with that five of cups. A lot of people might not feel it now, but they're going to regret that they did you dirty. Uh-huh. Because they're going to see you shining and they're going to want to feed up off your vibe, but they can't come on in because if they didn't know you when you were down, dude, you don't need to know me when I'm up either. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Star card, baby. Star. That's who you are, my Aquarius energy. Some of y'all sun, moon, or rising is an Aquarius, okay? Or Taurus, or Aries Leo, um, or Sag, okay? Mm-hmm. Or Pisces, okay? Yes, you're only coming into, you only want relationships. Uh, for some of y'all, y'all going to be coming into a real true connection, all right? Meeting a new love here when I see the Two of Cups, King of Cups energy here. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all going to be coming into relationships with somebody, all right? You got a new lover probably possibly coming in or really a real true soul connection with this King of Cups energy, okay? So you could meet this person while you're traveling, while you're studying, okay? Mm-hmm, all right? Excuse me. Um, but anything that you're doing, you're moving in silence. Whatever you're going to do, you're making decisions in silence. Okay? Yeah. A lot of people don't even know a lot about you. With the moon energy and the judgment here, a lot of y'all going to be making a lot of decisions behind the scenes without people having to know your next moves. You're keeping your plans to yourself this 2024. You're keeping your plans. That's between you and God. Okay? That's what you're doing, my collective. You're, it's between you and God. That's what it's all about. So, too bad, so sad. Ooh, look at that. Ace of Cups. Queen of Cups. Okay. So, like I said, some of you guys are coming into a soul connection here. Um, you're going to be meeting a, a, a lover, okay? This person could be a soul. You could keep them as a soulmate. All right. When I see the Queen of Cups, uh, King of Cups, and the Two of Cups energy here, new relationship is on the board here for you guys. So, some of y'all might be meeting this person along your travels, like I said earlier. Some of y'all could be meeting them in school. All right. All right. Um, some of y'all could be meeting them in school. I feel like somebody's here going after being a counselor as well. All right. Yeah. I feel like whatever you're going to be doing when I see this hierophant energy, high priestess energy, uh, some of y'all are going to be like um, doing some type of counseling work. OK. Um, but this job is going to require you to this position that you're going into it's going to require you to be like, go extra hard. There's going to be some sleepless nights here sometime too, my collective, whatever this is you're about to do. All right. This is going to be somebody that you're going to be talking from sun up to sun down. This is somebody where you're going to have a real true emotional and soul connection. You guys are going to talk as if you've known each other for soul, like you guys known each other forever. So you're coming into this soulmate connection right here, this king of cups, queen of cups energy. Okay. Yeah. You're going to be talking to this person. You're going to realize that you guys have so much in common. You're going to act the way you guys are going to communicate. It's going to be as if you've known this person your whole life. Okay. Yeah. So I like that. That's Good, but make sure you do all the details, my collective. Check the background, okay? Yeah, hermit energy. Um, a lot of y'all did the shadow work, did that, that healing work. For some of y'all, this could be a Virgo I can be talking to. Um, but this is where you're going to be taking this journey of the soul-searching journey for yourself, my collective. 2024, that's what you're going to be doing. And some of y'all are going to be dropping the... Um, and there's nothing wrong with religion, okay? It's just that you guys are going to be going on this spiritual path and becoming more enlightened, okay? And realizing that's the path for you. Um, you're going to have a lot of people that's going to want to judge you for that, but you're not worried about that, my collective. You're done. You don't really care, okay? You really don't care. Nine of Swords energy, okay? Yes. Um, like I said, there's going to be some sleepless nights here. I feel like a lot of y'all going to be going through those sleepless nights where you're having a lot of dreams, um, where you can't sleep at night. You're going to find yourself up, laying, looking, staring at the ceiling, or getting a lot of downloads. So be prepared for that, my collective. Yes. Be prepared for that. All right, when it comes to this um, transformation that you're going to be going through in the spiritual realm, okay? All right, yeah, you're going to be moving the signs because you're going to have a lot of people that's going to be jealous and envious of your moves, all right? Yeah, but these people have been defeated. They've been defeated. They can't conquer you, okay? You, you're going to be, a, you, you've overcame uh, these conflicts in your own personal life, and so therefore you're not going to allow anybody to dictate to you, so therefore you keep your business to yourself. You don't need anyone's opinion. You go to God. You go to the altar. So a lot of y'all going to be doing that. Six of Swords, you're going to do 
what makes you feel peaceful. There go the Ace of Cups. I can't make.